<coughs> uh, I think I'm allergic to work. Dropping off something at the old FedEx office drop off. Because that's what you do when you're an assistant in LA. You run stuff to FedEx. Like, all the time. Such a nice day out today. Labor Day weekend was perfect. Now we're back to work. The weather's nice. The sun is shining. I feel good and zesty inside. So here's a question I get a lot from uh, young student filmmakers, a lot of Rutgers students who reach out to me. They're always asking, hey Zach, I'm an aspiring filmmaker. I'm an aspiring screenwriter. I'm an aspiring YouTube person. And I was wondering if you had any advice. What should I do? How should I go about pursuing the thing? And I think the first lesson is like, stop calling yourself an aspiring writer or an aspiring filmmaker. There's something about the phrase aspiring that bothers me. I'm aspiring to do something in art land in this world. And I don't understand why we use that phrase. So one of my first jobs in entertainment was working at Late Night with Seth Meyers. It was the coolest job in the world. It was my first big like TV job, my first big comedy job. And for the most part, I worked with the writers. I was the writer's assistant's assistant, basically helping him uh, come up with the, the setups, the front half of every monologue joke, if you will. Um, and that was a really cool time. It was an amazing place to work. And Seth was a pretty cool boss. So people ask me that question all the time, and when I was working at Seth, I had a chance to talk with him for a little bit, and I kind of asked him the same question. And, and that was the advice that he gave me, was that first and foremost, stop calling yourself an aspiring writer. You either are a writer or you're not a writer. You're either doing the thing or you're not doing the thing. Because the phrase aspiring <laughs> implies that you haven't done it yet. You know, it implies that you're not actively writing, you're not actively directing or making a movie or writing a song or something. You just, you are aspiring for it. You're dreaming about it. You're wishing it into existence and yet not actually being active in pursuing it. P.S. Lemonade in Beverly Hills. Fantastic, fantastic lunch spot for like a quick grab and go thing. For anyone who doesn't get a lunch break like me and has to eat at their desk, Lemonade is pretty perfect. And so, yeah, that's what I learned from Seth, big boss man at NBC. My very first job and my very first internship, he told me, you are a writer, you are a filmmaker, or you're not. And so I think all of us together, collectively, should stop using the phrase aspiring. Because all we're doing is just belittling ourselves. We're, you know, subverting our own aspirations by claiming that we're aspiring for something as opposed to just doing it just going out in the world and yeah i'm a writer that level of confidence radiates way more when you're meeting someone in an interview but they ask who you are and what you do oh i'm a, an aspiring filmmaker you'll be laughed at you're a joke you have no credibility oh yeah, I'm a writer, I'm a filmmaker. Oh, what do you do? Tell me about your projects. Which is the answer that you want in the first place. All it takes is just a little confidence. <laughs>